uh, legendary promotions. And I'm glad we get someone of experience of Barquero. As we see, both came right on in the scale. Very close in terms of age, reach advantage for Irvina Maya. The favorite is also Amaya, according to Team Mexico, minus 130. So Mexico versus Costa Rica. We've seen amazing matches when it comes to soccer. We've seen great fights here inside the Lux cage. Can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is the co-main event of the night. And it's three rounds in the bantamweight division. Señoras y señores, esta es la pelea coestelar de la noche. Son tres asaltos de cinco minutos en la categoría de peso gallo de Lux Fight League. Presentando primero, en la esquina blanca, un especialista en artes marciales mixtas. Récord profesional, nueve ganadas, tres perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 75 centímetros. Peso oficial, 134.7 libras. Presenting now, on the white corner, is an MMA fighter. Pro record of nine wins, three losses. His stance, five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 134.7 pounds. Fighting, straight out of Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. He is... Irving the Storm Amaya! Su oponente, al otro lado de la jaula, en la esquina negra, un especialista en jiu-jitsu y boxeo. Récord profesional de ocho ganadas, dos perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 75 centímetros. Peso oficial, 135.2 libras. Presenting now, on the black corner, is a jiu-jitsu and boxing fighter. Per record of eight wins, two losses. His stance, five feet, nine inches tall. Official weight, 135.2 pounds. Fighting. Straight out of Cartago, Costa Rica. He is Andre Barquero. The third inside the cage, el tercero sobre la jaula, Gerardo Cruz. So our co-main event of the evening. Ready to start. Gerardo Cruz will be the referee for this match. Would it be safe to say this is a title eliminator? For Fight. sure, I would, I would very much say so. Yeah, yeah. Maja has been waiting for that opportunity for a long time. All righty, let's get ready to go. This is our co-main event of the evening with Andre Barquero from Costa Rica facing Irvin Amaya from Mexico. Glad to be working alongside. UFC veteran Spike Carlisle. Spike, what kind of fight can we expect from these guys tonight? Man, I'm watching this uh, jiu-jitsu gentleman. His boxing is uh, right off the bat, wasting no time. Bocaro's coming, coming in the bang. Here's truly Francisco X Rivera on the call tonight. 35 events for Lux Fight League. 15 of them held here at the Show Center Complex. Spike can very very well say this is our home. Ooh. Good exchange there. Amaya needs to get his range going, keep his jab going. Amaya going for the takedown. But good resistance there from Andre Barquero. Nice exchange by both of them. Good knee by Barquero. If Amaya can work the knees there. Good block right there from Marquero trying to create some distance on the clinch. Leaving Amaya, the comeback kid. Took him three years to recover from a broken leg. Yeah, man, Amaya looks calm. Yeah. Ooh. Marquero going forward, almost got him. Yeah, he did. Nice. Marquero once again putting Amaya in trouble. Yeah, both their right hands are landing. Yeah. 
Reckless attempt there from Amaya. Wow, Ooh. going for the overhand right. Nice job by Amaya, needs more of that. Uh, he's got a good reach advantage, he's yeah. got to work in that. Oh wow, it'll be Amaya with a one, two. Yeah, he's keeping him just at the end of his punches. A lot of people in the stands asking for Irving's legendary kicks. So far, it's been a good boxing match. Yeah. Now, Barquero. Nice Take double leg, got his hands locked. Able to finish that takedown. Let's see what the black belt has in store. Oh, man. Wow. He got the back, and he's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Yeah. Okay, just kind of blocked. Oh, nope. He just took that away. That's ooh, oh. good jujitsu. Wow. Nice back Hooks take. Are in. We're in that body triangle. Oh, man. Yeah, and he's got plenty of time. Bodies are fairly dry. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. that's it. The V is right there on Amaya's neck. Uh oh. Now he switches arms. Seems like it's just a matter of time. Wow. Oh. The top one. Oh, Amaya it's under the him. chin now, though. Yeah, that's a perfect V right there. Oh. Might not be enough. It's angled just enough to survive. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's. That's it. Oh. Oh. Get out of the clues. It's yeah, very he's, close. He's out. He's out. That's it. Amaya could be tapping soon, and he does! Wow. What a first wow. round submission win! Wow. By Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Andre Marquero. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. He wants the belt. He deserves it after that performance. That was, that that was, was a master amazing. class. You know, the, the, last, the very last time a fighter came to us yelling something was Diego Lopez after yeah. winning Puebla saying, Francisco, I'm ready for the UFC. Yeah. Look what happened two years ago. Now, or, or now, look at Andre Marquero coming to us saying, I want the belt. Yeah. Quiero un cinturón. I think he might as well be fighting for it. Too. Yeah, I should, man. That was a great, great technique right there. Taking the back. Did such a good job hand fighting to sink in that choke. I'm going to have to study that later. <laughs> Sure, what can you tell us about this move, the Mata Leon? Yeah, so usually people are always fighting the hands, but he switched the, the choke. He had it on one side. Um, Amaya was able to get out of it, and he instantly went to the other side, and it's just a matter of time when you have a guy that skill on your back. Yeah, the way he worked, the hand game right there was tremendous. Sometimes just by seeing the face of the opponent, you can tell. Yeah. That was close to the end. Señoras, señoras y señores, el referee Gerardo Cruz ha detenido el combate a los cuatro minutos con siete segundos de el primer asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped the fight at four minutes, seven seconds of the first round to declare the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke to André Marquero. Yeah, Marquero, the favorite, fulfills the line right there. Yeah, that was a quick co-main event. Yeah. And now let's get ready for the main event of the evening, which will be celebrated in the featherweight division. And Barquero's team proudly holding the Costa Rican flag. We already have a Costa Rican champion in the flyweight division, Jorge Calvo. They might very well be pushing for a belt in the bantamweight division. So, 
Coming up next, our main event of the evening, Edgar El Cebollero Delgado from Costa Rica as 